So I've been working on getting the shadows to look accurate, even um, even for some some situations that I hadn't uh, written code for at first. Let's like look at this most. This is a pretty uh, good example of what's going wrong. Um, see these shadows are being cast from the player, and they're hitting this face of the ground right here. Um, even though they shouldn't be. A real shadow would never hit a face like that um, and and show a shadow when the face is, at, is facing something in a totally different angle. And so the solution here is to create normals. Um, so each voxel has a normal, and a normal is just the direction, the vector that the face is, is vectoring towards, right? It's... Um, it's the perpendicular to the plane that the face represents, right? So let's look at that like kind of in Magicka and break that down a little bit. Um, if you're not familiar what normals are, this is kind of like a, just a refresher on what normals are and how this is working in uh, this voxel engine I'm writing for Wraithbinder. So um, all of these, these voxels inside this little cube right here have... Um, different normals. Let's look at the, the normal for like, uh, the simplest one would be this voxel right here. This voxel, its normal would be right there facing up, right? Because the plane, the face of this little, this voxel right here is facing straight up. So the voxel normal would be uh, 0, 0, 001. That's X, Y, Z. Um, and then for this face right here, this would be, um, the normal would be facing out that way, right? And um, for these corner voxels, it's a little bit different though, because um, let's look at this first edge, this edge voxel. This edge voxel is actually, that is the normal for that edge voxel um, because it's got, uh, it, it's got, it's the edge, right? The edge is facing a little, is facing off at a 45 degree angle. Um, and then these corner voxels are also uh, like that. So it's like, this is what it, the corner voxel would be, would be like that. Or I mean, the normal for that corner voxel would be like that, facing away, directly away from that corner. Uh, let's look at the algorithm for how it breaks that down first. Apply normal. So basically what it does is for each dimension, right? First we set the normal for X, then Y, then Z. For each dimension, it goes and checks to the left and the right. So the on the X dimension, basically it would be looking straight to the left and straight to the right. So let's like break this down. Um, let's look at this, this normal right here. So, and that would be this voxel right here. If I delete it, that's the voxel I'm deleting. So that's the voxel we're working on, right? So if we look, let's see, get the orange orientation right here. Yeah, so this is X positive to the right. This is Y positive going straight into the screen. And this is Z positive going up currently. Okay, so to determine the normal for this voxel right here, we know we, we, know we want it to be that, but how do we work that out like algorithmically? Basically for the X dimension, it looks to the left and it looks to the right and if those, it, it checks if there's a voxel there in each case. And if those, those booleans are different, then it can determine the normal of being one or negative one. Or if, they, if those uh, two booleans are not equal, then the normal zero. So let's look at that like here in the visually. Basically, if it has the left and it has the right voxel, then it's zero. If it doesn't have the left voxel and it doesn't have the right voxel then it's zero but if it has the left or the right then if it has the left then the normal is going to be positive one facing away from the voxel that's near it backing it up or if it has just the right then the vo the normal is going to be negative one facing away from that voxel that it would have so like if there was no voxel there then this would be a normal of x negative one so basically that's how the algorithm works. It goes through for each dimension and determines the normal, right? Um, and then, so let's look at the, let's look again to hear what's going wrong. See how, see how it's those, 
right here on this ground entity, the normal for this face right here should be, uh, we're at a camera rotation of 90 degrees. So the normal should be X negative one, Y zero, Z zero, facing directly away on the X plane from this ground model. But for some reason it's not because this, uh, this cast shadow shouldn't be interacting with that with uh, um, this shouldn't be hitting that right there basically the shadow shouldn't uh, hit it because this normal is facing away uh, so let's look at the the corrected version well first of all actually let's look at some of the other issues too um, another issue that I had this is well, we're looking this this recorded video here we're looking at is um, with all of the the models having voxel normals so this does have normals and it is and the shadow casting is checking the normals and but we still have the these issues right first of all the fact that the shadow is hitting that plane there second of all this uh here at the beginning we see these we're at a rotate camera rotation of 90 and all of these pillars right here are shadow casting themselves so this these voxels right here are actually casting shadows in this angle right here and it's hitting itself and it shouldn't be because the normal there is nowhere near what it should be to have a shadow hit um, and then we've got another little issue right there you can see as I as I stand near this road this uh, this rotated pillar here we're also casting shadows through the object so let's go ahead and look at the corrected version. This is uh this is now with normals still um every every model every voxel has its normals but they're now being applied correctly. So see how first of all um if we go over here you can see that we're casting shadows onto the ground and it's not hitting those faces there because it shouldn't. <laughs> and then we've got these pillars right here and you can see that they're not shadow casting themselves. There's no big diagonal shadow passing through. And also when I put the player near them, the shadow is cast properly. And then we go over here and do this final one over here and we see that these shadows hit the side of the object as they should, they hit those normals that they they should they should interact with, but then the shadow stops casting when it hits a face that it determines is, you know, not appropriate for a shadow cast. So there's all the that's the corrected code, and really it was pretty simple. Um, if you look at this, the corrected fixing the not the the normals was a matter of um, rotating to the light rotation z which I won't go into exactly in too much detail right now, but basically it was rotating those normals. That's all, all it had to do. So for certain rotations of the camera and the light angles, it would have to rotate those normals to a certain angle. Um, and then another important thing, this actually wasn't that important to fixing it. Another important thing was I was actually rotating all of the non- rotated uh entities like for example the ground all of these ground objects are not being rotated in fact you can see pretty clearly if we look at the if, the, if we compare the this running game here to this recorded video this recorded video you can see when i'm standing over here look at the face of all all these um ground entities right here they should all be dark because the light is coming from the you can see where the shadows are casting, so you can see where the light is coming from, and that should be shading all these ground entities that way as well. There, I was actually rotating every single entity like these ground entities were being rotated the exact opposite angle that they're supposed to be. So this particular ground entity right here should be rotated 180 degrees and we should be seeing the other side of it and seeing it shaded properly. So let's go back to the running game and you can see that all these ground entities are actually rotated the right way. You see, we're seeing the right side of the shading for them. And this side too, if we look at this other side, you can see that these are nice and lit up because that's where the camera, the, the light is coming from. So it's a really big win. Um, it, was, it was very important to me to get this so it didn't um, 
didn't use any more or that much more load time. And we're seeing that uh, this is actually in a run from a different one. But, but anyways, I measured this as I was doing it and I made sure that it wasn't really loading that much slower. It's really only using about a tenth of a second for all these models and everything like that to to uh, rotate those normals and apply those normals. So it's really not that much more expensive. In fact, it's probably less expensive at runtime. We're using less CPU because we have um, shadow casting being able to hit a plane and stop its shadow from casting. So there's less iterations in the shadow casting loop as well. So this is actually a really, really cool thing to have. Uh, let's look at some of the issues now. There's some issues left with the shadows. Um, first of all, you can see um, that there's a little bit of a gap between this object and its shadow. That's um, that's just in the shadow casting algorithm. But this is something that I'm really looking at and kind of wondering and shaking my head at. I'm not sure exactly what's going on. Um, these pillars, when we look at about this angle, these look okay. These shadows look nice, right? That's kind of how they should be. But this angle, we're missing half that shadow right there. If we go to this angle, we can see we're still missing some shadow there too. So uh, that that issue will get dealt with. I'm pretty sure that has that might have to do with normals, or it might have to do with shadow iterations or collisions or something like that. So, anyways, I'll dive into that and fix these these shadows and make them look even nicer. But now that we have normals in this engine, it's just really a really nice base, a great platform. All I got to do now is tweak it and get things to to just like really gel with this new system and it will look really really awesome with the shadows being real accurate and nice and whatnot so there you have it that's all i've been working on and uh shadow normals gosh they're awesome thanks for watching